thing is 100% totally fan-made, so please enjoy, but always support the official release. Okay, all ready. Hello, Eleanor, are you here? Oh, hi, Theodore, come upstairs. Hi, Eleanor, do you want to go get some ice cream with my brothers and me? Ah, I'd love to, Theo, but I've actually got a soccer game to go to. Uh, 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 oh, uh, okay, well, I hope you win. <laughs> That's the plan, but maybe after the game. Sure, S sounds good to me. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, Theo, but I've got to go. I'll see you in a few hours. Oh, where is Theodore? I'm really craving some ice cream. Alvin, don't worry. It's not like ice cream is very good for you anyway. Oh, you think I care? Sorry, Alvin. I I'm not really hungry for ice cream anymore. What? You're always hungry for ice cream. I, I, I wanted to have ice cream with Eleanor, but she went to a soccer game. So we're gonna go eat some after. I if you guys still want to have some, go, go ahead. I I'll just wait here. Oh, I have a better idea. Why don't we just go to Eleanor's soccer match, watch the game, and take her out after? Oh, yeah. That sounds like fun. Uh, sure. <laughs> Recorded my own ringtone. Hello? Alvin, where are you? I'm at the house, Brittany. What do you want? We're just about to leave for Eleanor's soccer match. Why don't you come and join us once you're done shopping? And we can do it there. Ugh, fine. Just make sure you send me the location where you guys are. I don't want to get lost. Again. Got it. See you soon, Britt. Bye. Okay, let's head to Eleanor's game. Oh, and Simon, bring the equipment. Looks like we'll be doing the monk cast at Eleanor's game. I assumed as much. Already have it, Alvin. All right, perfect. Let's go. Everyone, welcome to the Monkcast. Alvin, what are you doing? Uh, starting the episode? What does it look like? The Chipettes aren't here yet. Brittany and Jeanette are on their way from the store, and Eleanor is still playing. Simon, it's been over an hour. If I don't start now, it'll never get done. Uh, since you already started it, at least show Melissa's review to everyone. Hopefully it'll give the Chipettes the time to get here before we answer the fan mail. Great idea, Sai. Okay, guys, while we wait for the Chipettes to arrive, here's another review of our merchandise. Take it away, Melissa! Hey, everyone. Mel here, back again for another Alvin and the Chipmunks review. Today, we're going to be looking at this awesome t-shirt of Brittany the Chipette. Now, we'll go ahead and look at the t-shirt. We can see Brittany is on the front of the t-shirt with her pink dress, pink hair tie, and pink guitar with a star on it. The dress was from Chipwrecked, and there's also a similar one from the Squeakwool that is gold instead of pink, if you guys remember. She's wearing that pink hair tie, which can be seen in other promotional images and in the Chipwrecked video game as an accessory when you customize your chipmunk or chip head. The pink guitar, has been something that I've seen in promotional images as well, even on a few stamps as well. But this artwork overall looks so awesome and I really wish they would have used this art style in other pieces of chipmunk merchandise, other t-shirts, even just anything. This style is awesome, the 2D version. But this is the only one I've seen that's like this. So yeah, if you guys can find it, it's a great shirt. Of great piece of merchandise to have. Now on the front it says Rockstar on it and it's covered in glitter with stars and musical notes on the front. The glitter for the most part does not fall off like a lot of clothes but that's just because of the age of the shirt and the fact that I don't wear the shirt so yeah it doesn't fit me so it's just hanging in the closet for the most of the time. Um, this particular shirt is size large, 10 to 12 in, in, in girls, um, children, girl, you know, yeah. So they didn't make it to fit adults. I do think they made an X large and other small sizes as well. So you may be able to find it in one of those, but unfortunately it does not fit me. I wish it did. 
I would definitely wear this shirt. It's an awesome Britney shirt. The back of the shirt's pretty plain, just plain black t-shirt. So yeah. But overall, a very cool t-shirt to have, and I really enjoy having it as a part of my collection. Uh, have you guys ever had any Alvin the Chipmunks t-shirts when you're younger or currently now? And if so, what do you think of them? And what do you guys think? Should they make more t-shirts for adults that are Alvin and the Chipmunks? And who would buy them? I know I would. Um, anyhow, that is all for this video. Until next time, keep on monkin'. Thank you for that, Melissa. Very informative. Hey, boys. Ah, girls, you arrived just in time for the fan mail. Fan mail? Wait, are you recording the monk cast? Yes, yes, we are. Couldn't you have waited until after my game, Alvin? Oh, it was taking too long. Ugh, Alvin, you know, you have the patience of a rubber band. Says the girl who, uh, who, uh, hmm? Who what? Who, uh, uh, crash and burn. Sorry we missed your game, Ellie. Brittany forced me to come with her shopping. Apparently it was a fashion emergency. It's okay, Jeanette. Today's game wasn't that special anyway. How do you do? Crushed it, sister. <laughs> That's my sister. Okay, girls, okay. Now that you're here, can we please answer the fans? And I still have a sweet tooth for ice cream. Yeah, I guess we can. Great. Talking Lines videos by Caitlin Sparkle. Uh, she posted two questions, but due to the rules we implemented, we're only going to answer one <laughs> for now. She asks, have you seen Encanto? If you have seen it, what do you like about it? If not, that's totally fine. Oh, I loved that movie. Yeah, we all saw it together. Personally, I wasn't too much into the movie. I disagree, Alvin. I thought the movie was really good. I, I personally thought the movie was great. Alvin, I'm not really on your side either. It wasn't the best movie, but I liked it. Wow, not gonna lie, that's kinda sad. Alvin! 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 <sighs> if you don't take that back, I I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, kick you in your acorns! Ha! Huh, if you can catch me! Alvin! Brittany! Not now! Alvin, Dave's gonna know about your comment later, but for now, let's just move on to the next question. <sighs> yes, I am gonna be the bigger girl. Uh, okay, uh, Don London says, Hey guys, I have a question for all of you. Who's your favorite Spider-Man actor? My fave is Toby, but I like all three of them. Well, I've kind of mentioned this before, but my favorite Spider-Man has got to be Tobey Maguire, you know? He's like the sort of original, and you can't beat him. Though I did enjoy Tobey Maguire's performance, <laughs> I'm not going to be influenced by uh, nostalgia, and I'm going to say that my favorite is Tom Holland. He's definitely the most charismatic of the Spider-Men. Yeah, I don't think you can beat Tobey Maguire either. He's my favorite. Well, seeing only No Way Home at this point, I'd say Andrew Garfield. He's hot. For me, I, I go Tom Holland as well. Andrew is a close second, though. Um, <laughs> I agree with Brittany. Um, <laughs> everything she says. Andrew Garfield. Hold on a sec. Are you girls basing your opinion on who you find the hottest? I'm not. Um, is it any different than the time you said you like Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, well, th th that's different. Or what about the time you said that you liked Poppy from Trolls? Brittany? Uh, I mean, uh, what? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> of course I didn't. You were supposed to keep that a secret, Brittany. Ugh, I'm just saying, Alvin, you can't have double standards. Can I take the next question? <clears throat> sure, Theo. <laughs> Did she say that you find Poppy from Trolls to be hot? <clears throat> Read the question, Theodore. Okay. Philippe says, I hope I said that right. Philippe? Um, hello guys. I have a question for Brittany. I know you have a lot of fights and conflicts with Alvin, but have you ever had any conflicts with Simon or <laughs> Theodore? Thanks for answering. Oh, and P.S. You and your sisters are the prettiest. Aw, thank you for that last part. 
But as for your question, yes, I do. I have conflicts with Simon and Theodore, not as often as Alvin, but the conflicts I've had with Alvin could double that a hundred times. But you still love me. Ugh, Alvin. I hope that answers your question. Sometimes, Alvin, you can be so annoying. But anyway, Shayla's vlog says, question for everyone. I've been a fan of Alvin and the Chipmunks since the age of five. If you can, would you guys make a Monkcast movie? If so, what would it be about? A Monkcast movie? Oh, <laughs> that would be so awesome! I agree, it does sound pretty cool, but that requires a whole lot of planning. <laughs> oh, it's called pre-production, and then production when it's taking place, and then after it's called post-production. <laughs> But I digress. You you need a camera crew, sound technician, script supervisor, so much. It would be quite an undertaking. Blah, 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 blah. Real mature, Alvin. It would be nice to make a Monkcast movie about us. But what would it be about? Well, that would be up to whoever's producing it. I've made movies myself when Alvin wasn't trying to be a secret agent. Hey, whoopopo, there's nothing wrong with Lorenzo Lorenzo. M maybe they could make it into a documentary. Oh, someone should pitch this to a movie company, or at least Dave. I like the idea of a road trip story around the world. All sorts of adventures can happen on that, but that's just my thoughts. Aiden Hoffler says, to my favorite character, Theodore, <laughs> I love chocolate. I know you love chocolate. My question is, what is your favorite chocolate? Wow, this guy sure loves his chocolate. Well, if you were to ask me like a year ago, I, I would have said milk chocolate. But honestly, now, I, I know that some people don't like it, but when I was given a caramel bar by a fan, I was instantly hooked. A and have you guys ever noticed how British chocolate always tastes a thousand billion to billion to billion times better than an American chocolate? Alvin, a billion to whatever you said is not a real number. And, uh, yes, that is because the, uh, UK is closer to the sugar plantations. So the sugar in the chocolate is fresher and therefore less preservatives and the chocolate tastes better and you don't care, do you? Just pointing something out, Simon. That's all. But can we please finish this episode now? We're all going to go for ice cream, right? Just a second, Alvin. Eleanor, why don't you sign us off? Sure. Thanks, Simon. Okay, thank you guys for watching today's Monkcast. We hope you enjoyed us answering your questions. If you have any uh, pictures or questions, videos, whatever, put it in our comments below or on Facebook, Twitter, or that kind of stuff. If you um, want a better chance of your uh, stuff being shown, uh, you are better off putting it on our Discord server. Uh, our, our working link is now in the description, or so it says here. <laughs> it's free, and you, you have a great time. Um, who knows? Maybe you'll make some new friends. <laughs> it can't hurt, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, keep on monkin'.